taking hours to get her makeup done but meanwhile it only took five or four or three minutes to get it done okay hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is glory and please if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed please be sure to click on that subscribe button on your screen it will turn from red to gray this means you've subscribed also click on the notification bell it will always notify you each time i upload a video and i upload video here on youtube once a week all right guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to achieve this look here and this look takes about five minutes to achieve and before we go any further this video is in collaboration with my lovely sister here on youtube adeoye i'll just let her introduce herself everyone hi 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 my name is ade and i am a mommy vlogger based in the united kingdom i film about faith motherhood and lifestyle please do um, check out my channel please subscribe to my channel and i i trust that you're going to find inspiring motivating and useful content on my channel god bless you guys i will see you in my channel thank you all right guys that's adoye uh she's very 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 good she gives words of motivation words of wisdom i will leave adoye's um links to her channel in the description box please guys be sure to check her out all right guys in today's video i'll be showing you how to achieve a five minutes makeup look right this makeup look is ideal for any woman anyone that just want to apply makeup on their face without wasting time and still look Put together. I zoomed you guys in so um, you can get a closer look of every um, steps I'm taking in achieving this look. The first product I'll be going in with is my primer. If you're new here, I am a lover for primer. I do not go on applying any makeup on my face without priming my face first. In case you're interested to know much in detail of why primer is very necessary for your makeup look, I have a much detailed video explaining uh, the necessity of primers, the benefits of primers. Um, uh, so if you're interested in watching that video, I will get the link and put them in the description. I'll put it in the description box for you to click on it and it'll take you straight to that video. So this is my primer. Just be applying it all over my face. Guys, in, ca in, in case you notice me looking away, I've got uh, my mirror here. <laughs> so please, um, yeah, just know that's why if I'm looking this side, I've got a mirror here. Okay. All right, guys, this is my face all nice and primed and ready for the makeup to go on on it. <laughs> okay. The second product I'll be going in with on my face is concealers. I have two shades of concealers here. I have shade Maple, which is the one I'll be using for highlighting underneath my eyes. And I have shade Chai. This is one I'll be using to conceal any uh, discoloration around my mouth I also have a video here regarding highlighting concealing um, and the benefits and the necessity of why you should highlight and why you should conceal uh, first I'll start with my shade um, shade chai this is the one I use to conceal um, for me I my only problem area on my face is around my mouth I have a discoloration if you don't know what discoloration means it means I have a, a darkness around my mouth so I tend to conceal it first before I go on with any products I, you know either my foundation or powder important of concealing so in this five minutes makeup look I will not be using any foundation yes you heard me right no foundation so this step is ideal if you have any um, acne scars, uh, discoloration like me or hyperpigmentation is ideal to go in with a concealer, same shade as your skin tone to conceal those areas lightly. This will help your face to look more flawless. So now I'll be going in with my concealer and again this is in the shade Chai. And 
the the next um, product is uh, um, my concealer in shade maple this is to highlight underneath my eyes because highlighting it means you know you want to highlight the places you want to bring forward you know you just you're not shy for people to see you just want to want it to look more vibrant as well so in this case for me it's under my eyes only So this is my um, highlighting and my concealing all on my face. I'm just going to wait a few seconds for them to dry a little bit. And the reason why I wait a few seconds is because when I'm blending them out, they won't spread to the places I don't need to highlight or places I don't need to conceal. And now I'll be going in with my sponge to blend out my concealers. First, I'll blend out the, um, my, the concealing around my mouth. And now I'll be blending in my highlighting concealer underneath my eyes. And I'll be using the same side I used to blend out the concealer around my mouth to blend out the edges of my highlighting. My highlight areas. My highlighted areas. Always remember to blend out your concealer properly because you don't want to have any patches on your face. Because the idea is to look flawless without looking patchy. <laughs> so. so now our highlighting concealer and our concealing concealer are both blended out properly. I didn't put and I only spread it out just a little bit to my cheek, nothing further than my cheek, just a little bit. And the next product I'm going in with is my loose setting powder. This is Dema Blend Setting Powder in shade Cool Beige. Make sure to dust the excess in your palm, then go in. Look up and set. This will help if you have any creases. It helps set those creases underneath your eye. I have some creases, so yeah. if you don't have, <laughs> lucky you go. <laughs> Doing the same for the other eyes as well. Then now we're using same powder to set around our mouth because we don't want to have any smile lines or any crease around our mouth because remember we concealed it so we need to set it as well make sure to <laughs> like so to be able to get into any crease around your mouth okay and the ones that is in our palm, I'll use it to set my nose area because I get oil in my nose area, so just set it slightly. Forehead just a little bit. This is a uh, concealer all blended and set with a uh, loose powder. You can use pressed powder, but I prefer loose because it's um, more lightweight for me. But yeah, um, yeah, this is our face all set with powder and ready for the next step. The product I'll be going in with on my face is a blush. This is the Marina Beauty Blush Teru in shade. What shade is this? <laughs> this is in shade Terra Rouge. 
and this is my blush brush from Real Techniques. So I'll be going in lightly to apply this on my cheek. Make sure you do a smiley face. The blush here, higher, just lifts everything up and it makes your face look more appealing. Okay? You don't want to put our blush here to pull our face down and we look sad. You don't want to look sad. <laughs> so, we're going in with uh, another blush on this side. So, just from here to here. Okay. This is our blush all apply. And if you can see, it just maybe a little bit left on your blush and just kind of dust it on your nose to give it like that blush nice. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, that's our blush applied the blush. Okay. And next product I'll be going in with is my uh benefit. 24 hour brow setter in clear to set my brow. I do not fill my brows with any pen. I've already got hair, so I don't really like filling them in. So I just go in and set them with a clear brow gel to kind of like keep them in place all day for me. And the next product I'll be going in with now is my lipstick. This is my Revlon uh, matte lipstick. And I'm, this shade I'll be using is Power Move. This is like a, a dark brown with reddish color in it. I'm just going to swatch it for you guys to see. So this is what it looks like. I'll be applying the lipstick now on my lips. Alright guys, this is our 5 minutes makeup look all done. And we topped it up with a nice wearable bold lip. And don't be put off by a bold lip because when you're doing a look like this and you're wearing a bold lip, when people see you, they will think you've put a lot of time in getting your makeup done and you haven't. You just use five minutes or less to do it. So that's why you should wear a bold lip when you do this look. You can also wear a lip gloss, but um, I like a bold lip. You know, you just make people think, oh my God, she takes, she's taking hours to get her makeup done. But meanwhile, it only took five or four or three minutes to get it done. Okay. That's it for this video. Please, if you have any question, as usual, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.